Well, hello everyone. It's our second full day at camp for June. It's June 27th. It's our anniversary. <laughs> and we are down here at the elderberry pots this morning. And we found 45 of the 50. <laughs> I think we may have actually had more than 50. We're not sure, but we've cleared them out from the ferns. So this is the area. And as you can see, the ferns love it in here. That's just because it gets good sun. So, um, I'll just walk along and you can see we have seven of the 45 that we found that are not showing growth, but some of them are just incredible. This one is well up past my knee. <laughs> nice elderberry bushes here. Some of them are growing more from the bottom, like this guy. This guy's doing all right. We've got all the yellow markings, I don't know if you can see them. But we're really excited because elderberry products are, this elderberries are native to the Northeastern forest and they grow well in sun and shade. And the soil is just so good and we get plenty of rain here. And elderberries are toxic when raw, so the animals should leave them alone but they're so good for you with um, a little bit of cooking. So it's kind of fun. I mean, these guys were totally hidden in the uh, ferns and we've now, I like these ferns, but they don't allow enough sun. Um, so it's kind of fun seeing these little cleared out areas <laughs> of all of these elderberries. So we found 45, there might be five or six other ones growing. <laughs> but it's so pretty um, from our camp it's about five to ten minute walk to get here so once we do start harvesting in a year or two um, it's going to be a little bit of a walk but we may work on this little road right here old skitter trail and um, that comes to one of our main blue trails so we're hoping to do some hugel culture here. We did a video about that um, to get it to where we can get a little vehicle in here. So we're so happy that these guys are growing well. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> and um, elderberry wine, elderberry syrup, and jams, and pie, and tea. I think you make tea from the elderberry flowers. So maybe next spring we'll be uh, learning how to make some tea. And uh, I think that's it. So next time we come, we'll have to weed them out again. <laughs> <laughs>